Okay, let's talk about changing fill factors. So first let's look at the settings DB table because that's where everything happens. You notice I've got a number of databases in here and the most important one right after you install, if I can expand this, there we go, is minion default. If you don't have any other databases in here, they get their settings from minion default. So every database on the server will be re-indexed with the reorg threshold of 10 and the rebuild threshold of 20 and it will use a fill factor of 90% with pad index on. Now, any setting in here that has a null uses the SQL default. So it, I won't even include it in the reindex statement if it has a null. So you notice how this doesn't have an online option, so it's not going to be included in the reindex statement, which means it'll be done offline. Of course, you can change it to on or off as you see fit. Same thing with sort and temp DB, same thing with the max stop option, right? Okay. So let's say that you want a database to have a separate fill factor uh, or a different reorg thresholds, right? Let's go ahead and set the reorg threshold and the fill factor for, oh, let's say database one. So here, all I've got to do is update. So I update the index settings DB table and I'm going to set the reorg threshold. Let's set it to 20. And let's set the rebuild threshold equal to 40. And then let's set the fill factor equal to 85. Now I'm going to say not where it's alike, but where it equals DB1, because I only want it to have that one, where it equals DB1. Not that whole thing, just that. There we go. Now when I select that again, now I can see that I have that different fill factor and that different reorg threshold for that database. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say that I want to have a separate one even for the offline clustered table in the DBO schema. Well now you notice how I have nothing in the settings table but this is a table level override. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a row in here for this table, and I'm gonna give it a reorg threshold of 20 and a rebuild threshold of 45. Let's go ahead and insert that row in there. There we go. Now that table is gonna is gonna override the database settings. So ordinarily, and don't forget there's a precedence here, right? When I'm in the settings db table this is for the database level settings right the minion default row is what you start off with everything gets its values from this row unless it has a value in here so every one of these databases is going to get their values from their individual row not from the default row including this guy right here but even if the database doesn't have a row in here, if it's getting it from minion default or if it's getting it from its own row, if there is a row in the settings table, then it will get its values from here and not at the database level. So just understand that even if you want to only change one value for that table, all of the values have to be duplicated because it gets every one of its settings from this row now. It's a complete table override in the same way that when you're in the settings DB table, that this is a complete override from the minion default row, right? So, so that's how to change these settings and that's how to do those and, and that's how the overrides work. If you have something at the table level, it stays at the table level. It doesn't go back up.